My aunt is a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and when she saw I had a new laser cutter, she was ecstatic and immediately called and asked if I could help her make some custom-made cutting boards that she designed. And of course, I was more than thrilled to help out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I took this standard IKEA, I don't even know how to say that, but it's a 45 by 28 centimeter cutting board, and how I use my CNC machine and my laser cutter to make one of these. So, uh, stick around, I'll show you how I did it, and uh, yeah, let's go. So as you might have been able to tell in the intro, not only did my aunt want me to cut an image onto the top of the cutting board, but she actually wanted me to cut the cutting board into a specific shape. I took the design my aunt sent me and I imported it into Lightburn. After I got it in Lightburn, I made a few tweaks to make it a little bit more compatible with the laser cutter, and then I exported the outline of that design as a .dxf file. I took that .dxf file and I used it to create some G-code for the CNC to use to cut out the exterior of the cutting board. So this is my CNC machine. I custom built this a few years ago. It was mostly a learning project for me and it, uh, it actually turned out pretty well after the fifth or sixth time I built it. Um, so here you can see the CNC is cutting out the blank and the cut speeds aren't super fast. I think it's running at like 800 millimeters per minute and uh, the cut depth is something like three millimeters per pass. So definitely not super aggressive, but it gets the job done. If you'd like to know more about my custom built CNC, you can view one of my other videos about it. I've made a ton of videos about this thing or feel free to ask in the comments section. So this is the laser cutter I'm going to be using for this project. This is my new 55 watt Orion Mototech laser cutter. Um, one thing that I added to the laser cutter since my last video about it is up here, it's going to be hard to see, um, there is a little camera now and that camera is connected to my computer. So whenever I pull up Lightburn and I press a button, I can see what is on the bed of the laser cutter and then where the laser is actually going to be shooting on the bed relative to what I put on it. So this is the image that the new camera and the laser cutter allows me to see. As you can tell, the wood blank is not aligned with the cuts the laser needs to make on it. So what I'm able to do is just simply move the blank around in the laser cutter and allow it to line up with the image that I'm seeing on my screen. And that made this whole process so much simpler and much more straightforward. This is my laser cutter in action. I believe this is running at 450 millimeters per second at 40% power. And even at those speeds, it still took about an hour and 10 minutes per cutting board. So it wasn't a super quick process, but it also wasn't too terrible. It gave me an excuse to hang out in the shop. After this was finished in the laser cutter, I took it out, I hit the surface with 320 grit sandpaper, and I only sanded the areas that weren't supposed to be burnt, um, just to kind of get a clean surface and get off any residual scoring that might have happened. And I blew it down with a little bit of compressed air and then added some mineral oil. And this is what the finished product looks like. I am very happy with this. I'm sure my aunt will be as well. I want to thank you very much for watching and have a great day.